Hey everyone, this is Justin with Elastic. This video is a companion piece to the Search Labs article, Creating an AI Agent with NAN and MCP. The article demonstrates the power of the Elastic Agent Builder's hosted MCP server connected by an AI agent made with just a few clicks on the NAN workflow orchestration platform. An NAN will set a weekly trigger to collect the most often asked questions about Elasticsearch, index them, and then set an LLM on the task of creating an analysis of trending questions and opportunities for us to address any blind spots. This tutorial uses NAN hosted as a local Docker image, Elasticsearch, SERP API, Anthropic, and Google Docs. Make sure to read through the article and gather all the credentials if you want to work along with me. Otherwise, sit back and enjoy. Okay, here I have NAN hosted locally, and I started a new project from scratch. As you see, the first step is selected by the plus sign. We'll see all the different options. I'll choose to start the on schedule trigger. I'll choose the weeks trigger interval and I'll set it to trigger every Monday. It's already set to trigger at midnight, so I'll keep it as is. Let's run execute step to make sure it works. Nice. We just ran our first node. Now I'll add my second step. This time I'm going to add the SERP API node. This allows me to get search results programmatically. This view requires my credentials as well as a search query to run when my workflow triggers. My credential will be an API key I retrieve from SERP API. I'll set my search query to Elasticsearch. Let's execute step to make sure SERP API returns my search results. Cool. I can see on the right that I have my results displayed. When we're satisfied with the search results, we can go back to the canvas and create a split out node. This iterates through the search results that we added and returns only the specified fields we want. Since we only want the related questions, I'll drag the related questions box into the fields to split out form. This is nice since I don't have to write any dot notation or iterators to grab what I want. I'll run execute step to make sure things are pulled out properly. Our next step, I'll connect Elasticsearch node. This allows me to take those four related questions from the split out node and index them into my SERP results index. I'll create a new credential, and just like the SERP API, I'll add my API key. I'll also include the Elastic Endpoint, which is the base URL for NAN. Next, I'll enter the index ID, which is going to be SERP underscore results. I'll click on Add Field to add a question field. And remember, I'm only concerned about the question in this response, so I'm going to drag the question block to the field value. This way, the data I'm returning to my LLM for analysis has a small footprint, thus reducing context bloat. I'm also going to include a created at field, and I'll set a JavaScript expression inside the double curly braces to datetime.utc.toString. I'll execute that to make sure it works. I'll check on the elastic side within the index management view to make sure the data I want is being indexed properly. I'll click on view and discover, and there we go four results have been gathered. Now that our data is going to Elasticsearch, I need to create an AI agent to retrieve those results and synthesize an analysis. I'll add a new node, choose AI, and then AI agent. In the source for prompt field, I'm going to choose define below. Now I'll paste in the prompt from the article. This is the instruction set to retrieve historical data from Elasticsearch and create the analysis per our specifications. Next, I'm going to choose the chat model and select which LLM I want to connect to. The article uses OpenAI, but I'm going to use Anthropic in this case. For the credentials, I'll just paste in my Anthropic API key. Now let's add some tools. I'm going to add the MCP client tool, which is going to be a remote MCP server hosted by Elasticsearch via Agent Builder. Here I am in the Agent Builder section of Elasticsearch. This is where you can create agents, custom tools for searching your index, and have a natural language conversation with your data. By default, Elasticsearch offers seven different tools for search. Up top, you'll see a link I can copy for the MCP server URL. I'll paste this into the endpoint and set the authentication method to header auth. I'll put in authorization, and for the value, I'll type in API key space, and then I'll paste in my API key. Now, we need to give our agent the functionality to create and update a Google document to write the analysis. I'll click on Tool and search for Google Docs. The credentials for Google Docs are a little bit more involved. This requires OAuth 2, 
with a client ID and secret. Make sure to check the Google Docs documentation link below in the description to get this up and running. For folder name, I'm going to choose the root level of my Google Drive. I'll also allow the LLM to choose the file title, which is specified in the prompt we pasted into the AI agent node. Next, I'm going to duplicate the Create Google Doc tool to make a new Update Google Doc tool. For operation, I'll choose Update instead of Create. I'll allow the LLM to choose the doc title. I'll also allow it to choose the text. This is where the LLM adds analysis information after creating the initial file. Everything is now set up, so let's give it a run. Once I click Execute Workflow, you'll see the wheels begin to turn. The timing trigger usually runs every Monday at midnight, but we can manually test it here. It triggers the SERP API call, which sends the results to the split out node. The split out node parses out the questions and sends them to Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch indexes those four questions as well as a created at field for each item. The AI agent starts up by first reading the prompt. It then uses the search tool from the Elasticsearch MCP server to retrieve questions from the index. It then creates a Google document and populates it with the question analysis findings. Now let me switch over to my Google Drive and check on my document. This was created by our LLM to analyze commonly asked questions in Google. We can see clearly what historical questions were stored in our index and what new ones we have this week. This gives us some insights on what information is reaching prospective customers and offers recommendations on how to address possible blind spots users may have. I hope you enjoyed our walkthrough with integrating NAN with an AI agent with an MCP server and Elasticsearch. Hopefully you can see just how powerful this platform is. What will you do with Elasticsearch, NAN, and your own AI agent? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy learning.